Good morning, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It's not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. Again, people want to... Um, add to it and take away from it but you can't do that it is grace something we didn't earn is something we don't deserve that god gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life we come to the conclusion that we're sinners in need of jesus that's how we're saved we put our faith and trust in christ we accept him as savior and you're saved now, people want to say, now someone wrote me about repentance. Again, every day I get something on that. Every time I mention it, I get something on it. Okay. How can I put this without? Repentance is a change of mind. Okay? The moment you accept Christ as Savior, you repent it. God changed his mind. He repented. It said that in the Bible, in the Old Testament. God repented for making man. He changed his mind. For making man. That's what we do when we accept Christ as Savior. I don't know why people, you know what, and I used to be one of them. You feel like you have to do something else instead of letting the Holy Spirit do it for you. I'm teaching what's in the Bible. Sin repulses the believer. But yet we still do it every day, whether in thought or in deed. We do it. The difference between us and the unsaved, we're justified by the blood of Jesus. That didn't sound right. Hope they didn't hit nothing. It sounded like they hit something out there. We're justified by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus washes away all of our past, present, and future sins. That's why when the believer comes to the knowledge of Christ, they are saved and sealed. They're justified by the blood of Jesus. God knows everything that you've done. So you don't have to make a list of everything you've done and give it to him. He wants you to believe in what he's already done by shedding his blood on the cross for your past, present, and future sins. I hope that makes some I hope that helps somebody. I hope that makes it clear. Because people seem to get the impression that they have to do something. When the only requirement in this dispensation of grace, like I said last night, is believing. We believe in what Christ did for us. That's how you're saved. You're saved by faith alone. By grace through faith in Christ alone. Period. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. He will seal you. Which means you will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will um, change you. He will lead you, guide you, and he's your best friend. That's the gospel. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Man makes it hard. Very, man makes salvation impossible. Basically, he makes it impossible. But with God, it's possible. And it's simple. The simplicity of the gospel is right there. I got to give you this article now. I talked about power outages and... Uh, power grids going down well guess what happened <laughs> and i think i hit on this a little bit yesterday apple mysteriously got hit by a major outage now we have apple products here I have an apple phone i have an apple computer we didn't get hit with anything here but apple services suffered a major outage on monday when at one at one point at least 25 of his services went offline, disrupting both individual users and businesses. Again, we have Apple products here. Nothing happened here. I didn't see anything. I didn't 
experience any outage. By 4 p.m., a- Apple claimed all of its outages had been resolved. That's strange. Outages had began just after 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, according to report data by Down Detector. The outages affected Apple's App Store, uh, iMessage, Music, uh, TV, iCloud, iTunes, Radio Podcasts, Maps, among other Apple services, according to uh, the system status page. Before 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Apple claimed it had resolved outages for iMessages, uh, device activation, iCloud, and Game Center. Uh, numerous Twitters, Twitter users, uh, Lamb uh, based at Apple for its usage status page, initially showing no outages, while many of its most popular services were indeed out. Now. Let me tell you why this is strange. At the same time, Sleepy Joe was giving his speech about the power grid and cyber attacks. That happened. Oh, isn't that convenient? One user who claimed to be inside the Apple store at the time of the outage shared a picture showing employees actually writing on paper on their cell phones during the outage. Apple store systems are down and they're literally doing everything on paper. Wow. I guess that shocks a lot of people. They didn't know paper and pencil existed. Some users reported receiving a message a server with a specified host name could not be found which potentially indicates an issue with Apple servers. The mysterious, here we go, listen to this, the mysterious outage came at the same time. Sleepy Joe released a nationwide cybersecurity warning to all Americans telling them to prepare for a Russian cyber attack. Here's this full statement below. This is a critical moment to accelerate our work to improve domestic cybersecurity and bolster our national resilience. I have previously warned about the potential that Russia could conduct malicious cyber activity against the United States, including as a response to the unprecedented economic costs we've imposed on Russia alongside our allies and partners, which is a bunch of BS, actually, because um, if you want to know the truth, And I'm not siding with anybody on this thing. Russia didn't cause this. But, you know. No. And too many people are on the side. I had said this the other day. Too many people are on the side of this other one. Zelensky? Yeah. Yeah, something's up there. So... I'm going to link it in the description box, and uh, I think this is just the beginning of many other things that are going to go out. Now, speaking of which, let me give you this. And this came out, um, actually, this came out this morning. Now, there is another huge solar flare has been ejected from the sun which could impact the earth in the days disrupting the power grid third eruption in one week so when things start acting up in your home you can blame it on that and you might can blame it on a cyber attack also so uh space uh weather experts have spotted the sun ejecting a, la- a large mass of particles. Now, this is, I've been getting alerts about this for the past few weeks now. In the next few days, when ejections like this hit Earth's magnetic, magnetic field, they can cause solar storms. Um, I just got this off of War News just now and uh, 
it says here, Russia and the United States are approaching the point of a permanent servants of diplomatic relations. Russia media reported that with Russian Deputy Foreign Minister uh, Ryakov stressing that such a thing would be very difficult to avoid. It says, Ryakov stressed that there are two Russian conditions in order to maintain communication with the United States and to avoid a severance of diplomatic relations. Most likely these terms were delivered yesterday in writing to the American ambassador in Moscow in it himself. The first condition is to stop the threats against Russia and the second condition is to stop the supply of weapons to Ukraine. If these two conditions are not met, then the two countries are close to the point of serving, servering diplomatic relations. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryakov has expressed the view that the United States wants to cut off diplomatic relations with Russia. The Russian Deputy Foreign Minister stressed that contacts with Washington are maintained through embassies and only occasionally at other levels. I think the current situation, this is the maximum possible. The United States is heading for a break. There is no doubt. Uh, the United States is heading for a break. There is no doubt about that. We insist on the need to normalize at least in basic aspects of the type of communication. Asking the question of what needs to be done to maintain relationships is definitely right. They just need to stop their escalation both verbally and practically. By transferring weapons to Kiev regime, we must stop making threats against Russia. If the United States manages to have a positive impact on Kiev, which I not only doubt, but I'm sure it will happen, unfortunately, then I think there will be a certain prospect of normalization. I'm going to be honest with you. This is getting worse and worse. And I do believe, I said this before, I do believe they want this to happen. I do believe the United States wants this to happen. The more I look at it, the more I think about it. And that's fine. Because we, the church, know what's going to happen. We are prepared for the rapture of what's about to happen. Um, oh, and for those of you who uh, think that I'm wearing a pentagram, this is what I'm wearing. Off of the Hodge Twins uh, website. So there you go. I'm going to drop this in the description box. Um... This is going to go on and on and on until the church is gone. The only thing that's stopping all evil, all hell from breaking loose on this earth is us. The church, the Holy Spirit. It's us. I read that in the rapture thing that I did Sunday. That's the only thing that's stopping all hell to break from breaking loose on this earth. It's about to happen. This is why I come on and give you the simple gospel. And I figure if I give you a, at least just a few verses over and over and over again, it'll sink inside of you. And then you'll realize how simple it is to get saved. Because right now, it looks like all hell is about to break loose soon. I will link this in the description box. I will be back later with another video. Um, I put a few articles on my blog, so you can go there and look at those too. In the meantime, I thank you for your support. I thank you for your prayers. I'm praying for you guys, and I thank you. I'll be back. Thank you.